In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manipulate bubble charts. Bubble charts are graphic representations of contingency tables, where relative frequencies are represented by circles of different diameters. This type of chart allows you to easily identify high and low frequency cells, and is particularly useful for presentation purposes. Many features of the chart can be customized. Let's have a look. Select Analyze from the menu at the top of the screen and scroll down to Coding by Variables. We'll create a contingency table with all codes. You can make a bubble chart from both the Tree tab and the Table tab. Since the size of the bubble depends on what is being displayed, you need to carefully choose what is displayed in the table count, row percent, column percent, or total percent. Select the bubble chart button, and a bubble chart dialog box appears. You can change the size of the bubbles in your bubble chart by selecting the size in the drop-down menu. And you can also change the colors. Select the area of bubbles that you would like to change, Right-click your mouse and choose Set Color. We'll go with green. Changing colors is useful to help differentiate sections, Democrats versus Republicans, or positive versus negative. You can change the colors of individual bubbles as well. Right-click your mouse and choose Set Color. Customizing colors makes it easier to draw audience attention to specific bubbles. You can also move columns by clicking on the column's header and dragging it to its new location. The same thing can be done with rows. This could be useful to group items differently, for example, grouping the Democrats together or moving important codes to the top. You can also tailor your labels. And you can access text segments that are associated with bubbles. Select the bubbles in question, right-click your mouse, and choose Retrieve Segments. Bubble charts can be copied to the clipboard as an image or saved to disk.